Trike's facial model had to be powerful and compelling. The final construction was a hybrid of metal parts integrated with human flesh to achieve the right balance of human and robot. You aren't like me. Shrek's skeleton was comprised of entirely bespoke mechanisms. Internal mechanics, such as cables in his biceps, were designed to contract as human muscles would. Skin simulations were layered over the top of this metal skeleton and hard metal edges were pinned to the skin, which allowed for soft tension next to the joint without tearing. Unique shaders were designed to provide a level of translucency to reveal the metal through the skin. Custom rigging solutions were used for Shrike's mechanical motion, including hands and feet, which did not follow a standard bipedal framework. An extra point of articulation in his hands gave him the ability to switch fingers to claws, which were used to express aggression. His feet were designed like a mechanical claw, allowing him to grab things like an eagle. Director wanted a bespoke type of movement using keyframe animation to create subtle shifts in his motion to accentuate his machine-driven locomotion. Completing the look, the coat simulation instantly created a dynamic silhouette which emphasized Shrike's gravitas. The precise movement of his non-damaged state reinforced his stock of mentality. Shrike's damaged states were also tracked over three different versions of the character with separate creature rigs for the various states. As damage accumulates, he moves with greater difficulty, like a machine that has been broken but is still functioning and formidable. <laughs> <laughs>